Hello to all of you, my students in the sixth grade. This is your English teacher, Dana from Al Farouk Academy. Today, we are going to complete the structure of present continuous for future by answering the questions in your student's book and workbook. So please prepare your box and be ready. So the outcomes of our lesson today, students should be able to answer the questions on student's book and workbook page 49 and recognize the ways to pronounce the letter Y in some words. So let's start. So let's start with your student's book page 49 with question number one. Look at the footballer Ricky Oswaldo's organizer. Read the sentences and write it true or false. We want to read these sentences and check if these sentences are correct or incorrect from these notes. So let's start with number one. On Monday, he's flying to Rome. Look at this note, Monday, fly to Rome. So this is excellent, true. Number two, on Tuesday morning, he's training. On Tuesday morning? No, afternoon. So this is excellent, false. Number three, on Wednesday, he isn't training in the morning. On Wednesday, he isn't training in the morning or he is training. Excellent, he is training. So this sentence is wrong, false. Number four, on Wednesday, he is giving interviewers for four hours. On Wednesday, interviewers from two o'clock to five o'clock. So this is false. Number five, on Thursday, he's going to the TV studio in the afternoon. Look here, in this note, on Thursday, yes, this is true. Number six, on Friday, he's training all day. On Friday, is he training all day? No, it's false. The last one. On Saturday, he's playing in the Champions League final. Is it true? Yes, this is true. Question number two, listen and say sentences. We want to listen to these sentences and recognize the form of present continuous. And don't forget that the function or the use of present continuous here for future. Planning arrangement in the future. So, listen. Students book, page 49. 2. Listen and say the sentences. I'm visiting my grandparents on Sunday. My dad's coming back from New York on Monday. Now let's move to your workbook, page 49. Question number one. Complete the sentences with the present continuous of the verbs in brackets. We want to complete these sentences about this girl by using present continuous. So we want to correct the verbs between brackets and change them into present continuous. When I say present continuous, so excellent verbs to be is R M with verb ing. Like number one, on Monday, she is singular, so is visiting her grandma in Cambridge. Number two, on a Tuesday, she what her friends in the park. We have the verb meet. She, excellent, is meeting. Number three, on Wednesday, she, what, shopping with her mom. We have go. Yes, she is going, excellent. Number four, on Thursday, she is what, tennis with friends. We have the verb play. Yes, is the playing. Number five, on Friday, she, at home, we have the verb stay. She is staying. Excellent. Number six, on Saturday, she is what? To Paris with her parents. Fly. She is 
flying yes and the last one on sunday she is some side sitting there we have do she is doing excellent now question number two write about the week of hyle an ethiopian marathon runner here we have notes about her what is she going to do on these days we want to write sentences by using present continuous so please try to answer this question then come back to the video to check your answer number one we have on monday afternoon hill is flying to new york what about on tuesday on tuesday morning or afternoon pm this is afternoon excellent she is meeting her trainer excellent on wednesday afternoon yes excellent she is running 30 kilometers on thursday afternoon she is running 42 kilometers excellent on a friday we have two notes about this day in the morning and in the afternoon on Friday morning, she is having TV interview and on Friday afternoon, she is visiting museum. On Saturday morning, she is seeing doctor and on Saturday afternoon, she is resting. Excellent. On Sunday, she is running a marathon yes now my students we want to return to your workbook page 48 in this page we have a note about how can we pronounce the letter y there are four ways of pronouncing the letter y we pronounce y as in yes but we pronounce the letter Y as a long E like funny. We pronounce the letter Y with long I as in fly and short I as in simple. So in this page, we want to listen and answer the questions in this page. So let's start. Before answering the question in this page, let's listen to this question and recognize how can we pronounce the letter Y. Workbook, page 48. 2. Listen and say the words. Funny. Yellow. Pyramid Sky So we have four ways to pronounce the letter Y Y or long I or long E or short I Now let's answer question number three Read the text, say the words with an underline Y and write them in the correct sound column. So we want to, re to read this paragraph. Then we want to classify the words that have the letter Y in a correct sound column. Yes with the sound Y, try with the long sound of I, funny, long E, simple, short I. Let's start reading. Jenny with long E and Sylvia, Sylvia with short I are at my school. They are young with sound Y. Gymnasts who hope to compete at the next Olympics. Yesterday, the girls cycled around the city park and then went to the gym. On their way home, the girls were surprised to see a 
huge yellow pyramid flying slowly in the sky. It's a balloon. On an ice cream van, said Sylvia, why don't we get a yogurt ice cream? Said Jenny, I've got some money we've trained really hard and we haven't had a treat yet. So, the words with the sound Y are Yesterday, yellow, yogurt, and yet. With long I, try my, cycled, flying, sky, and Y. With long E, we have funny, Jenny, city, slowly, money, and really. With short I, symbol, Sylvia, gymnasts, Olympics, gym, and pyramid. So my students will stop here today. Write the answers in your student's book and workbook and be ready for the next class.